do a compression check? Yeah, let's do a compression check. Yeah, let's see, let's see the compression check here. I want to stack there here. Yes, you never know. Here we go. And sing. <laughs> so, so this is an electric ultralight. And um, now my American viewers, ultralights in Canada are different than the US. So this is more like an LSA for my American viewers. But um, up in Canada, this is an electric ultralight and this is Ray. Ray, you built this. I did indeed. You did build it. And um, everybody's gonna wanna ask all kinds of questions. And you know the very first one is, how long can you fly for? 70 minutes. 70 minutes. That's so the last electron. That, that's pretty good. Now, this kind of airplane is designed for um, morning and evening flights normally. And I know that's how I fly mine. And I rarely fly mine for more than an hour. And so 70 minutes is, is yeah, we all, everybody has to look. You know we're pilots when we all look at who's landing. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, can you, can you maybe just talk us through wherever you'd like to start? Let's just talk us through the plane because this is interesting stuff. Okay, I just... See there, that, that's the power cord. It's being charged now. It's almost fully charged. Um, and you, 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 how do you normally plug this in? Okay. What, so, because I can see here we're plugged into 220. Yep. Right? Yep. But you can just plug it into 110. Yep. It takes twice as long. Just. So, back, back at home base, I have a 220. And I actually have a big cable that has two wires coming out. Okay. And two chargers. Oh, you have two chargers on board. So, you can charge even faster still okay. at home. Yeah. About two and a half hours from zero to hundred percent. Wow. Okay. How much is the so how how much horsepower? Let's start with that. And I guess it's kilowatts, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Uh, the, the the motor can do fifty two kilowatts of power. Okay. Short term. Um, That's about seventy horsepower, ish. Yeah. Okay. Four thirds of fifty two. Whatever. Right. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. While I do four thirds of fifty two in my head, just like that. Okay. No idea. Okay. Here's the battery. This big black thing here. All right. That's one hundred and forty pounds of lithium battery. So 140 pounds. The powertrain comes from a zero motorcycle, the entire power plane. This is the dash of a zero motorcycle. <laughs> like, as you, you can see now it says 100%, it's, it's completely charged at the moment. Right. And yeah, and that's it. This this keeps track of controlling the motor and the, and the power to the to the motor. Okay. Now there, there's, a charging, there's a charging protection, the battery management system, and if, if something bad happens, it'll, it just disconnects the battery. Uh, right. You need that in lithium batteries because they can do bad. Yeah, ba yeah, lithium batteries like to burn, yeah. which is not good in an airplane. Or anywhere else. Probably. Or anywhere else, really. Yeah. And your panel's nice and simple. I imagine it's just um, on, off, and... Turn this on. So there you go. Airspeed, altimeter, even artificial horizon if you need it, heading. That's uh Yeah. I go to a waypoint from the home destination and it'll tell you. So the GPS on board? GPS, yep. yep, GPS is on board. Nice. Uh, it records it, it's black box. Oh, nice. It records on here. So you can pull that out and yep. check your flights and whatnot. Every second, for every second it records appropriate details. And so it's just typical regular three axis control. This is this yep. used to be a, a Thunder Gull, is that what it used to, is that what the, mm -hmm. or is it? There, there's, there's the Thunder Gull line. Okay. And one of the one of the aircraft in the Thunder Gull line is the Soaring Gull, this... which is the longest wing version of the Thunder Gull. Right. And uh, if you take if you you put an electric motor in it, it becomes an E Gull. Right, which is a cute little pun. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. So no warm up required. No. <laughs> no <laughs> fuel <not> burn. <laughs> no, that's right. Oh, no, you haven't no, changed your no, oil no, recently. No carb icing. No carb icing. Yeah. yeah don't need to worry about that kind of thing. Now, um, I've heard of some of these that can um, charge your batteries as you glide, uh, regen or whatever yep. they call that. Is that yep. something that is possible on this plane? It is possible. Um, so you did build this then yourself? Oh yeah. Yep. B bought this. And so can you tell me about the construction material? I see we probably have a fiberglass pod. Fiberglass one. Yeah. Okay. The structure is steel tubing. Okay. Fiberglass pod is just uh, cosmetics. Of course. And then I'm going to get up here. Here. Uh, the wings. This is an aluminum D spar. Okay. In there, there's a styrofoam ribs. Okay. And then the ceiling part here. It's fabric. And what kind of fabric is it? It's Oratex fabric. Oratex, very nice. Yeah, it comes in this color. You don't have to paint it. That's awesome. Yeah, I like the Oratex oh, stuff. These are flat. I'm gonna... Yeah, activate the flaps for me. Show you the flaps. All the way up. Yep. And all the way down. Wow, those are barn. 
Those are barn doors, man. Yeah. Those come right down. Yeah, and I land with them fully on. Right. Most time. Otherwise, the tail will bang. Ah, yes. And this is a aluminum tube. Right. And, well, this is all aluminum sheet metal. Of course. Yep. And ribs. Uh, aluminum. Aluminum and then Ortex again. Fabric and, and aluminum. And that's similar, similar to the wings. And that's a stabilator. That is a as stabilator. opposed to a stable or a elevator. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the uh, anti servo tab to give you some feedback. And trim. And trim. Okay. Two in one. I like it. Very strong trim. One through the motor. Peek in there. Okay. You can see the bottom ones. See the fins there? Oh, yes. Look at that. That's the motor from the motorcycle. Okay. And that'll give you an idea of the size of it. Right. It's basically a surfer thing about. About that big. That. And what does that weigh about? I have no idea. Not, 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 not very, very much. much. So, so you, people are probably thinking, oh man, 140 pounds for the battery, that's yeah. going to be a lot. That's basically your motor, because yeah. your motor only weighs about 20 pounds probably. Yeah, yeah. Right? So... It has a belt drive to there. That's okay. So there is a reduction drive then. Yep. Yep. And you have an E-prop on it. Adjustable yes, pitch. Do. Very nice. Full carry through yeah, spar, that's, right? So that's, very. That's one wing. Yeah, that's, that's one, one wing. wing. No, no one folding wing. option on this. Right. Well, you can fold it once, I guess. Yeah, only way yeah. out. Just only once. <laughs> so, what's your cruising speed then? Both 62, 63 seems miles per hour is, is best cruising speed. Yep. Um, Gives you your best range and whatnot. Yep. Yeah, it. Yep. Uh, I did a bunch of tests. And that's, that was where that's, that's where it ends up. Set, about 60 miles yeah. an hour. And that's exactly what I sit at in my plane. So 60 miles an hour is a very nice yeah. cruising speed, especially for a plane this size. You're not in a hurry to get anywhere. Yeah. Nobody ever buys an ultralight to go anywhere fast. Right. <laughs> and go faster, but it's a much shorter flight. Right. And that's what's your rate of climb about? Ish. About 700 feet per minute. Yep. About that. Yep. So very decent then. Yeah, it's respectable. Yep. Very good. Is there anything we missed that... Uh, we should, probably. Yeah, probably. But it doesn't matter. It's okay. It's not, it's not important. Quite, no, no. Feel free to ask questions down in the comments. I'll do my best to answer and what I can't answer. I'll get a hold of uh, Ray. Ray, by the way. I should have introduced him. Hey, Ray. Yeah. Say hi, Ray. Hi, Ray. There you How go. Many times did I heard that? Good job. How many yeah. times? Yeah. So, and as you can see, he, um, he, he got the registration to match, which. It was available. Awesome. Well, well, I'm going to film your takeoff. I got like, some footage from some previous flights okay. I'm going to throw in as well. And uh, I don't know, maybe a low and over or something yeah. whenever you go. And we'll thank you so much okay. for telling us about the plane. And I can't wait to have you come back for breakfast next month. Okay. I'll be hungry. All right. <laughs> What was that about the electric plane, Violet? Why is it going far, far away from us? Well, it's got to go to another airport. Why? Well, because that's where he lives. He doesn't live here at this airport. He lives at a different airport. Is the electric airplane cool? Uh-huh. Yeah. Do you want one? Yeah. Should we get two? For you and me? Perfect. Let's do it. Uh-huh. All right. Say bye, Violet. Bye, Violet.